When you visit the Knowledge Base tab, you now are presented with a couple of options here. You can try out the new search engine or permanently uh, switch to it by selecting this link. If you switch over to it, you'll always be able to switch back uh, if you really want to opt back out of that. But uh, for this example here, we're going to go ahead and um, try out the new search engine. When you click through, you'll now land on a page that uh, is displaying a feed of current activity across all areas of IETN. In the search box here, we can begin to type in maybe a DTC or a symptom, but what we do recommend is, is that if you are working on a powertrain related issue or a vehicle related issue, is to first identify that vehicle so that we can leverage the information that we have on the back end um, to smartly expand across the same powertrains um, that share those same systems uh, and, um, and issues. So say that we had a 2006 Ford F450 and we had a DTC P2617 stored. The way that we can begin our search is we can type in that vehicle or if we had a VIN number we could paste it in. But in this case I can just type in 06 and then F450. I didn't need to say Ford in there because we all know that it's a Ford. And now I get a short list of vehicles to select from and I'll just select the uh, Super Duty with the 6.0 P motor. Once I do that I can now drop in my DTC P2617 and hit return. And now I'm presented with a list of postings that have the P2617 set for the 6.0 liter P motor. If you look on the right hand side, we'll, we report out the different vehicles that are included within this search. Because we know of all of the vehicles fitted with that same 6.0 liter P, we're reporting that out here. If you wanted to say modify that or expand it out or further constrain it, if you move your mouse over the vehicle selector here, you see some additional options. Similar vehicles, any engine. So we would take all of the optional engines available for that F450 Super Duty and report those back out. You could say all engine sizes just for that model or an exact match for that vehicle. Or you could expand out even further. You can go all Ford Lincoln Mercury, all Ford or all Ford F450 Super Duty. So I'm going to move on to another vehicle here. I've got a 2007 Buick LaCrosse, so I'm just going to type in LaCrosse. And it is the 3.6 liter VIN 7 of the vehicle I'm working on. And I have a DTC uh, P1629. And now I've got a short list of, of possibilities here. But if I had thought that maybe this DTC is not so much uh, specific to the Buick or maybe it's all all of the GM powertrains. I could quickly just select all GMC or Chevrolet, Buick um, and so on and expand that out very quickly. And you'll see that we're returning results across all of our various assets on the site. Another example here would be uh, say that I'm working on a 2008 Dodge Caravan sliding door issue. It's not so much vehicle or engine dependent, um, it's more vehicle dependent. So in order to get there, we would just type in 08 Caravan and pick one of these. And I would type in sliding door. And we have access to a, a large uh, automotive term uh, synonym database here. And that gives you auto suggestions that you can quickly select from. And you'll see now we have two results matching sliding door for that vehicle with that particular engine. But as we had indicated before, it's probably relevant to all of the Dodge Caravan. So I could say similar vehicles, any engines. And now we've expanded it across all of the other vehicles, including a Pacifica, Town and Countries, Grand Caravans, and so on. And so this should help you get down to the information that you're seeking um, in a fairly quick and efficient manner. Also, you may want to explore some of the other options here. We're showing you some of the common things that are happening or that are attached with this particular search that we've defined up, at, up top. 
you see the various DTCs, you've got some other options here to select from.